first hash browns begin as potatoes. When I make hash browns, I prefer to boil the potatoes in their skins, so I need to wash them first. Add water. And boil the potatoes until they are tender. Now to make the hash browns, the next thing I'll need to do is grate these potatoes that I've boiled. Peace Corps volunteer ahead of me left me this nice grater. So let's take the potatoes, give each one a good look, make sure there's not too many wormholes and things like that, because if there are, I want to get rid of them. I generally like to eat peels on my potatoes. The peels of the Malawian potatoes are kind of bitter. Now I've finished grating the potatoes, and then I can put in the seasonings. You don't need to be very fancy with the seasonings. It's kind of hard to improve on the flavor of fried potatoes. Here's what I like. First, a little bit of onion, maybe about this much, for this much potato. I like to chop the onion fairly fine. The onions I can get in my village are extremely potent in terms of making your eyes water. So I put them into the potatoes and submerge them pretty quickly so that they don't gas me out. For spices, of course fried potatoes need salt. Give them about half a teaspoon of granulated table salt, pepper, maybe about a teaspoon of black pepper, and paprika, which actually I can get in my village. Well, close to my village, not quite in my village. Also about another teaspoon. That gives it a nice savory flavor. Try to mix that all in as evenly as possible. I don't want to mash the potatoes too much, so I'm mostly folding in the spices and the onions into the potatoes. Now actually cooking the hash browns is pretty simple. You don't even need a frying pan. You can use one of those thin-walled village aluminum pots. But since I have a cast iron frying pan, I'm sure going to use it. So wait for it to get nice and hot. Then we add the oil. Adjust the incline, make sure the oil is nicely evenly distributed, and put in the potato mixture. And fry away. You have to cook hash browns quite a bit. Check to see if it's ready to turn over. It separates easily from the pan. You don't have to flip it like a pancake. I'm not trying to make potato pancakes out of this. It's just easier if I flip it all at once. Um, it's not going to hang together. Once I take it off, it's just going to fall apart. But that's what hash browns are all about. Thank you. 
Nice and browned on the other side and it's absorbing a lot of oil. Let's see how this side is doing now. Looks like it's ready to come up. Salt, fat, and starch, just what your body craves. And we keep going until they're all done. 